In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to grab your Alexa rating with PHP. And you'll see at the bottom of my site here, it says Freight Forum is the uh, 476,504. And then I also have the ordinal at the end of that. I'll show you um, a function order in order to do that. And basically this um, number was grabbed from an XML document um, on Alexa's website. And I'll just go into my other browser tab here and you'll see um, the URL is data.alexa.com and then slash a bunch of stuff. And then the final um, parameter uh, passed in here is and URL is equal to um, your domain right here. So in my case, freightform.com, um, but you could use any other um, domain right here. And we have the um, well-formed XML document here. And any of this data in the XML document you can grab um, in, in my case, we're only using um, from this uh, popularity element right here, and then we're grabbing the text attribute of it. So I'll show you how to do that in this video, and um, just know that you could um, change the code, you know, how you wanted to grab um, whatever information you wanted from this XML document. So let's go over to the code, and I have a function to do that. Um, the function is called get Alexa rank. And then the first thing I'm doing is creating a variable that just holds my URL, freightform.com. And then in the next one, we're using the simple XML load file function, um, which is built into PHP. And then we're passing on um, the URL that we want to grab from. Um, you know, you can, I, I will zoom this in during the video editing, and then just concatenate on your URL at the end there. The next thing we're doing is, um, let's just start from this part right here. Um, we have our XML object right here um, that we got from using the simple XML load file function. And then we um, use this arrow to access the SD1 property. Um, if we go over to the um, XML document here, um, you'll see that SD right there. And let's just go back here. And then another arrow to access the um, popularity attribute. Um, let's just go back for a second and you'll see um, there's the uh, popularity element and going back here and then attributes and then we get the text. So, um, you know, you'll see how this uh, matches up with this stuff in the um, XML document and you can change this up however you want in order to um, grab different data from that XML document or any XML document for that matter. And the final thing that I did was um, I casted this to an integer um, because I wanted to use the number format function on it. And what that did was enabled me um, to get this uh, comma in the middle here. So um, these you know big numbers just look a little bit better. And so by this point, I will have that number um, 476 comma 504. Um, I'll have that stored in the rank variable here. And the last thing that I want to do is just make this look a bit nicer. Um, so I'm using a functional a function to um, you know create the ordinal suffix for that. And that function is up here. It's not really related to this um, video title, but um, you can take a look at this and copy it down if you want. Um, I also have this uh, source code on my Facebook page. Um, if you want to check that out, I have a link to it. Um, on my YouTube page and um, function ordinal suffix the um, it obviously takes the value and then the second argument is optional if you want this to be super scripted um, like I have right here you'll see um, it's a little bit smaller and it's um, higher up there that's um, you can pass in a one as the second argument and that will make it um, that will make this true so then um, if SUP is one, which evaluates to true, then we um, the suffix is wrapped inside these SUP tags, which is gonna raise that a little bit and um, get the effect that you have right here. And basically what's happening in this function is not very com complicated. Um, we're just using the substring function of PHP and we're just checking um, what the number ends with. Did it end with 11, did it end with 12, or one, two, or three? And that is going to, you know, add on the TH at the end or ST or RD.